Hi guys, welcome back to Funky English, the home of great ESL games, PPTs and other stuff. Today I am going to show you five great activities for teaching months of the year. Months of the year can be quite challenging, especially for younger children, so we need lots of repetition. Okay, let's get into the games. Number one, I say the number, you say the month. One, January. One, January. Good, good. Uh, five, May. Good. Eight, August, yes. Uh, 12, December, yes. Okay, this game is a great game for repetition. If you like, you can also give stars to the fastest team or the fastest shoot. Okay, let's go game number two. Game number two, we're gonna chant the months and see who can chant them the fastest. So you're gonna need a stopwatch or of course you can use your phone. Three, two, one, go. January, January, February, February, March, March, April, April, May, May, June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September, October, October, November, November, December, December, stop. <gasps> okay, I did it 9.9 .9 seconds. Okay, let's go. Game number three. Wow, look, I'm really small again. Game number three is Man's Math. You're going to give the students a math question. For example, here we have five takeaway four. But the answer will be the corresponding month of the year. So five takeaway four is January. 25 takeaway 22. What month is this? Oh yes, it's March. Four plus two is June. Okay, so you get the idea. Also, you can get the students to write some questions and then they're gonna ask their partner or other students in the class. Okay, let's go. Game number four. Or should I say game number April? Okay, game number four. For this game, the first student is gonna stand up and say January, sit down. The second student will stand up and say February and so on. But if a student is too slow or they make a mistake, the whole class is gonna say BOOM! But if the class managed to make it to December, you're going to choose another month. Uh, so for example, we made it to December, let's choose March. Now, we don't say March. When you get to March, we're going to say, oh yeah. So here I'll write up, oh yeah. Uh, so this time, the first student will stand up, say January, then February, and then say, oh yeah. You can keep playing, so once you get to December again, choose another month and do something funny. So maybe you're going to say, boogie boogie, clap your hands. You can also get the students to give you some ideas. This way they're going to take ownership and enjoy the class more. Okay, let's go to the last game, game number five. Game number five is a class survey. The students are going to walk around the class and ask their classmates when their birthday is. Hello James, when is your birthday? My birthday is in August. Oh, thank you, James. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a like. It really does help. And if you're not already, please subscribe to Funky English for more great games in future. Okay, guys, stay funky.